Hi, I'm Keith Kompoltowicz. And I'm Dee Apps. This edition of On the Level with the Corps of Engineers comes to you from the Detroit River International Wildlife Refuge on the Detroit River near where it empties into Lake Erie. In this video, we will discuss the outlook for water levels based on our recent six-month water level forecast. During the fall and early winter, water levels typically decline as a result of increased evaporation. Evaporation is highest during this time of year as a result of the colder air that enters the region and moves over the relatively warm waters of the lakes. This image demonstrates the cloud formation that can occur over the lakes as a result of evaporation. Evaporation is generally the primary driver of the seasonal water declines that occur on the lakes. For example, Lake Erie reached its peak monthly mean level in July and has since entered its period of seasonal decline. For Lake Erie, the six month forecast most probable outcome shown by the green dashed line projects that the seasonal decline in water level is likely to last into the winter months. The full forecast band over the next six months indicates that water levels on Lake Erie will remain above average represented by the blue dashed line, but below record high levels. The other lakes are also forecasted to continue their seasonal water level declines in the coming months. Based on the most probable forecasts, Lake Superior is forecasted to, to continue its seasonal decline into the early spring, while also remaining below average levels over the next six months. Lakes Michigan Huron and Lake St. Clair are forecast to continue their seasonal declines into the late winter, while similarly to Lake Erie, remaining above average but below record high levels. Lake Ontario is forecast to continue its decline into the winter, remaining slightly above average levels. For the Corps of Engineers, I'm Keith Kompoltowicz. And I'm Dee Apps. Thanks for viewing this edition of On the Level. Please check out our website and find us on social media for more Great Lakes information.